Alrighty, let's switch over to the gameplay. Beautiful. Alrighty, oh, oh, hold on. Camera's not working for one second. Let's just see if we can restart that. Nope, okay, hold on. Be right back, hold on. Having te technical issues as per usual. So hopefully we can get this all solidified and start the stream. Which again, I'm hoping, just hoping that we're able to. If not, it'll be a no face cam <laughs> stream. All right, let's see here. So just give me one second, be right back. All right, I think we're good. Yes, we are golden. I can see myself beautiful. All right. Oh, boy. Good to start off the new year with just more crap. <laughs> All right, so we got the camera situated. Uh, again, as I'm getting posted up here in the top left corner, so uh, should probably reverse that, but eh, who cares? Um, but what we'll be doing is um, at least starting off the new year, uh, since, again, got the video captured, all that fun stuff, we'll be doing some... Good old-fashioned Metal Gear Solid 1 from the PS1. My favorite game of all time. Favorite franchise of all time. And we'll be streaming it here on the PS3. So, going with the original disc as well, too. So, appreciate everyone tuning in this afternoon. as It's a little impromptu afternoon stream. Again, Happy New Year's. Again, Happy 2021 to everyone out there. Again, appreciate everyone tuning in. Uh, if you have not hit that follow button, please do. Again, completely free. It just helps me out. It lets you know when I do go live. Uh, again, I appreciate that. Also, too, again, these videos, these live streams are uploaded to my, at least, YouTube channel. Go subscribe over there. The link is in my About Me on Twitch. So, I appreciate that. Also, too, if you are in Twitch chat right now, feel free to say hi, hello, whatever comes across your mind. Just say what's up in the chat. I'll look at those message messages periodically through today's stream. Probably go for about maybe a couple hours, if not, again, just kind of play through. I do want to play all the way through this game, so, again, I love this. Uh, what we'll do with this one as well is it's going to be just gameplay. Not going to go through the story, or at least those long-ass cutscenes by Kojima, so we're just going to go pretty much through the game and skip through majority of it. So uh, that's kind of how we're going through it. So with that all being said, let's get into it. Get some nostalgia. Give give me that old that old sound. Oh, oh, there it is. It's like you tease me, but it's there. <laughs> Love it. Uh, check the sound as well too. Gameplay in my mic should be fine, so that shouldn't be an issue as well too. But if it is, let me know. I love this game. This is like, I think, like, again, going like Christmas Day, like, however long ago. Oh, yeah. That's a good. Oh, I miss that noise. This music. This, I'm pretty sure this is like, like, the first ever, like, game I got, like, as a kid, along with, like, the PlayStation. Like, I'm fairly certain. Oh. All right, we'll skip past all that, the intro and all that stuff as we'll get into it. So, again, this is fresh. No bandana, no hidden whatever. We'll try to on this playthrough. Again, I think once we see... Um, once we're in, like, the torture chamber, I'll try and, like, fight through it so we can get that, like, invisibility, like, little perk at the end. Even though, again, I'm not going to play through this game like, at least a second time on stream, but I think that's going to be the goal. All right, so with that... We'll get into it. New game. 
we'll just, yeah, we'll go normal. <laughs> Not gonna go hard. Well, I torture myself. I already tortured myself enough with Luigi's match at three. Alright. Good old David Hater. The OG snake. I really hope for, like, the next gen, at least for the PS5, they, rem they remaster this game. That'd be amazing. Like, my mind would literally, like, explode if, if they announced that, like, at an E3 or something like that, that this game's being remastered for, like, the next gen. Ugh. Liquid! sure you are, Liquid. If PlayStation could remaster, like, Crash and Spire and all that stuff, it's like, come on, give me this at least for, like, a remaster. Probably, probably gonna skip through the Codex stuff as well, too. Because, again, that can get lengthy, but... This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? It is, it's good to clear. hear both of their voices. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, All right, push yep, the select yep. button. When we need... Yep, alright. Select, blah, blah, blah. Alright, thank you, Colonel. Alright, let's get to it. The most iconic first level, like, at least any game for me. Oh, yeah, I gotta forget that. At least, gotta remember that it's... Oh, hold on. All right. That it... You can't use the sticks. Instead, you gotta use the D-pad. Gotta remember that. Right. Let's see how much fun I can have, like, here in this first level. As I normally do with, like, these guards. All right, that that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I was trying to f remember how to choke him out, but all right. Oh wait. Ah, eh, we'll just die. There we go. All right. There you go. You get your you get your one game over screen for the day. <laughs> get it out of our system now. Damn it! I need to remember how to choke him out. <laughs> all right. Relearning the controls. Oh wait, no. I need to get that ration before anything. Oh, oh. All right. All right, so it's square. All right. <laughs> so far, great start to the uh, stream there. I meant to do that. That that that's what it was. Oh. You didn't see anything. Oh, we still don't see anything. Come here. Oh. I forget how to choke him out. <laughs> Alright, that's first person. That's punching him. Uh hold on. We're gonna go to the game. We're gonna we're gonna pause. Because we can pause in this game. And the beauty thing is as well too, again, I have the OG again. Look at the, the dual disc, at least PlayStation, the greatest hits one. We're gonna look at the controls as as we ba did back in the day. You know, again with the fancy booklet. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. First person. Because I know there's like a way to like, instead of like punching them, you can like choke them out, but. Hmm. I think it's that square technique, or at least using square button, but I don't know. Oh, well. Maybe you can't just choke him out here in this early part. <laughs> oh. He didn't hear anything. This is always, like, the fun part to mess with these guards, especially when you're waiting for, like, the uh, elevator to get back. <laughs> or just, like, I'm over here. You didn't hear nothing. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, is someone knocking? All right, remember to add a knock. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, bad time. All right, <laughs> bad timing, Colonel. <laughs> Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you for that, Colonel. No. <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go. Finally. That is like the best opening. Like, when I played that on like a demo, like a demo disc back in the day, it was so much fun just messing around in this first level with these guards. <laughs> you could just give them such hard times. All right, we'll let the one guard. Yeah, you're going to look back or you're going to move and then bye-bye. Off we go. So far, again, made it. We're not speed running in this game, clearly. <laughs> but we have made it to the elevator, and now the game can begin. I think we'll watch these opening, like, we we'll gotta watch the opening of these ones. It hurts me not to watch majority of these, but, like, an in interest just to get the game along and not spend, like, 40 hours doing this. Especially because some of these, like, when you're talking, like, the DARPA chief and all that, it just goes on and on. Which I appreciate Kojima, like, giving, like, that backstory. Just, like, it, it's like a full-on, like, movie experience or just experience in general. But there it is. Metal Gear Solid. Ugh. Love it. Love everything about this game. As we now see the base. We see Shadow Moses. Alright. It's Snake. <laughs> I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. Yeah, 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 Naomi, okay. All right, the suit, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, we're going you know, to get the terrorists. Yeah, we all know. Okay. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? We'll find out later. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. I'm sure. First off the bat, and need to go find the SOCOM pistol. It's like off goes liquid to be an ass the whole game. hours left until their deadline yep yep we gotta hurry they're gonna blow everyone out all right Mei Ling cool that's how you save all right blah 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 yeah there's a lot of dialogue in this game right thought in the middle is you I know thank you Mei Ling blah 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 frequency which gets saved that's awesome at least good thinking on uh again this game to like save the frequencies <laughs> especially if you pass this stuff it's like uh all right there we go scout out ahead all right now we're into it finally hmm all right i can't go i know i can't go that way but we will cut across at a point in time i always love this game as well too for like the snow parts like this where again like it shows um your footprints that, like, the guards can even detect. Like, that is so cool. 
Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, I messed up on that one. I got cut up on the on the uh, side. Come here, come here. Eat it. <laughs> All right, we're running. <laughs> Oops, I got I got stuck on the uh, on the side of the box there. <laughs> That's fine. We we have a ration, and thankfully there's another one up there. <laughs> I'm not starting off great here. Alright, we'll grab that. We'll avoid the camera. Oh, okay. Alright, we're just gonna hide. Oh, no, wait. We're gonna hide right here. Oh, nope. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. We'll go. Oh, oh, nope. Damn it. Alright. Come here. You're all going down. Oh, crawl under. Am I going to get blown up? Yep. <laughs> Alright. For real this time. <laughs> no more no more memeing. This is on normal. By the way. Damn it. <laughs> I'm getting a little too cocky. Where Again, it's been a while since I... Uh, I, I want to like mess around with these guards so badly, but... It is not going too well for me. <laughs> But whose footprints are these? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what was that? Huh? Whose footprints are these? I don't know. As you can just lead him in a circle. Oh, damn it. <laughs> he turned around too too late. Alright, ration. Grab that ration. I know there's a way to choke these guys out, but it's just not happening. <laughs> Alright, let's get back. Alright, let's get her so calm. There we go. Now we can start killing people. <laughs> uh, we'll equip that. Let's just make sure. Oh, okay, hold down. Square to aim. Okay. Alright, you're going to look that way. Make sure you look back into the truck. Nope. Okay, alright. Oh yeah, the chaff grenades are in here. Ballsy move. Oh, I'm just messing up left and right now. Nope, leave me alone. Nope. Come here. Damn. It. Oh nope. Get 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 rid of. Okay, that's that's how you do that. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> Took me a while to uh, uh, get the uh, choke down, but figured it out finally. <laughs> oh. Alright, we will equip the chaff grenades. Wait, how do you... Yeah, I was like, that should be pulling the pin. Okay. We're learning together. I, yeah, I know, Snake. All right, I got stun grenades. Which, again, never use those things, but... You know what? Just for the hell of it, why not? <laughs> I feel like this whole gameplay is just going to be me, like, super aggressive towards the guards. Just, like, eat it. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Damn it, I tried to use you as, like, a human shield. Oh, I, I like, partially choked him out. <laughs> so 
See ya. Oh, you're going down. Damn it. Oh, get up. <laughs> I keep on trying to go for the choke, but it's like I'm like a pixel off. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Oh. There we go. Finally, you're dead. Go to sleep. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that other guard up here. He just kind of... Oh, never mind. There he is. <laughs> it's like he just kind of like fucked off. Uh, here's the... Here is the great debate. I'll probably go to the lower area. Uh, we'll use chaff grenade there. Alright. Yeah, I'm not going to answer it. All right, we had our fun. <laughs> on to the next level. Or at least on to, like, inside the uh, base. Uh, let's see. I know there's, like, hidden shit. Yep. There's the uh, rats. Yeah, I know. You're going to tell me that they go towards, like, air. Master Miller. Hey, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I'm... Uh huh. All right. Thank you, Master Miller. Uh, we'll go this way instead, I guess. I want to say there's, yeah, as you say, there's a box up ahead. Cause I know there's like, cause this should all be like graded off, yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll take the extra rash, and I could use that right now. Oh, boy. Oh, all right. We're going to pause really quickly here. Just need to take care of one thing. We'll be right back in a quick, short second. Be back. Alright, sorry about that. We are back. Alright, let's get back into it. Alright, we got a ration. We will follow the rats and then get to the underground area of this base. And then the fun really begins. This is where, like, I, I wish and I miss the fact, or, again, like, in previous playthroughs, like, having, like, I think, the, if I remember correctly, like, the bandana gave you unlimited... Uh, like infinite ammo, and I forget what else or what was the other thing that you got at the end of the game that gave you like invincibility or like uh, invisibility. But when you have that, that invisibility, obviously again it makes it makes the game like both of them make the game like unbelievably like easy, 
like insanely just like in easy for obvious reasons but the visibility that's where like for me I always wanted that one because it's so much fun just to mess around with the guards again you, you still can mess around with the guards but again they're gonna spot you and I need to perfect my like choking technique on these guys but all right we're finally to the main floor of the area Ooh. All right, what do you want? What do you want, Colonel? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down. Yeah, 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 cargo elevator. Okay. Because right. I can't grab anything yet because I don't have the key cards or anything. Oh. You should go to the right. Yep, okay. So I'm not gonna mess with any of the guards just for now or just <laughs> in general. Alright, I got more SOCOM bullets. Oh damn it. Ow, ow, ow. Uh we'll hold on to that, because why not? I knew he was gonna spot me. See ya. Alright. God damn, I am like rusty at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. You all figure out which way you're going. The elevator should be good to go. Yeah. Um, I think we go to basement one. If not, it's basement two. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, the Herpa Chief, blah blah blah. Thank you, Mailing. Hello? <laughs> I love how they always like had those like s secret little hidden like things you could do in the game where it's just like, oh, who's that? <laughs> Alright, it's gonna tell me to use the action button on the ladder. Snake, if you wanna go up or down a ladder. Uh huh. All right. On to find the guard that has the mad shits. Which, again, I love the fact that Kojima, like, made that a running theme through, like, a whole Metal Gear, like, games. That there's just the one guard that just, again, just has, like, just, like, sh the shitty battle system. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, if I remember correctly. Yep, there we go. There he is. <laughs> oh, God, it damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. <laughs> all right. And I think Meryl should be right here. Nope, never mind, that's the office. All right, so come. Meryl will be the first one as we go through the other one. That's right. Where am I at, health-wise? Sure, why not? I'll need the health anyways for the upcoming, like, fight that I have, at least partnered along with Meryl that doesn't do anything. Alright. Which is down here. Let's see. Meryl should be here. Yep. Is that a woman? Oh, what is this? Women, what are they? What are they doing in Alaska? Ah, uh, what do you want? Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere. Yes, there's Vince. Thank you, Chief. Woohoo! All right, so this is the start of like the stuff that we'll start passing on the cinematic stuff, because again, like the DARPA chief just goes on and on about like nuclear warheads and blah 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 the terrorists and how everything and like fox die Who, who's that? it's your worst enemy all right so we'll pass that metal gear we learned about metal gear that's right all right
And sorry if anyone wants to see this or whatnot. I mean, I'm more focused on just like playing through the game, or at least. If it hadn't been for the revolution. You can watch again. Any of these cutscenes are probably like up on like YouTube or whatever. But yeah, you gotta find okay. Baker, who's in charge of all that. Wait. All right, he gives me the card, or at least a little. Yeah. Naomi, the chief. Gives him like level one like access I don't card. Know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack. <laughs> That's right. DARPA chief dies from a heart attack, and we learned why later on. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm teabagging you there, uh, DARPA chief, but <laughs> I'll take that ration. But yeah, if anyone wants to watch those cutscenes along, you just let me know, or at least say that in chat and whatnot. But again, I I'm more focused on just like playing through the game. Like I said, everything that you find about the story. Um, again, the the cutscenes are all online. Pretty sure. Thank you, Meryl. Oh. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No. No. Nope. Not. not liquid. Don't move. Oh. She's got shaky hands. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? I like this. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> oh. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no <laughs> rookie. As we got guards just like listening to all this. <laughs> Open that door. You. <laughs> You've got a card, don't you? Yeah. Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. Here we go. Here's the fun. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Oh, she thinks. Oh, nope. At first I thought he was dead. What are you waiting for? Damn it. Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! <laughs> that was kind of a rookie move right there. Just to like scream and shoot. Alright, there we go. I will take that, even though get out of the way of the grenades. Oh, never mind. Alright, grenades should be coming here. Nope, never mind. When do the grenades come in? Alright, it should be after this one then. <laughs> yep. Oh! Damn it! <laughs> Get up, Snake! Get up! And grab all those. <laughs> I don't even remember how uh, buttons because there's like that quick reload of like you t you take it off and then just like instant reloads. Thanks for the help. Wait. <laughs> that booty though. Who are you? You fool! You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. Hmm. Dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss. Good old Mantis. Alright. And then cut back the snake running. Psychomantis. One of the coolest, one of the coolest bosses of, of like all Metal Gear. That boss fight, like that comes later, is just so awesome. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nano machines are functioning properly. So what was it? 
It must have been All right, we'll keep we'll keep it running. Coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. So we'll keep we'll keep the uh, audio logs going in the video logs as someone requested for it to keep going. So all right, all right. So I have the level one card. I think these are all like yeah, level six and higher. Uh, I do, however, want to go back in here. Nope, don't need that one. I know that there should be... S I don't know if there's anything under your bed. But I know there's something in his room. That's just... That's that's just an unfortunate just scenario. Just being ass up in the air. <laughs> you feel bad for the guy. If anything, it's like you could have left him his underwear. Alright, so good on SOCOM bullets. Let's get the hell out of here. Nope. Click the button. There you go, snake. Uh, we will go back down to basement two. Or at least we'll go we'll go to basement two. Oh, the ever, ever lovely again this. This whole area just can be a pain in the ass sometimes, especially with those uh, false floors. Uh, you are level one. There we go. There's my C4. Uh, nope. Okay. Isn't this with? Yeah, that's the flaw moss room. That one, if I remember, it's like it's one of these bottom ones. Is it? It's not the grenade one. It's the FAMAS one that has like the um, bullshit lasers. Where the first time playing this it was like, what are those things? <laughs> and then you walk into it and it just like alarms the whole place. It's like, ooh. All right, so full up on SOCOM. All right, let's go blow up some walls. And again, the discolored walls. We'll put you right there. You right here, and then I can never remember if there's four in here or if it's just these three. Granted, I can look around, but oh, all right, no, it's those. Okay, all right, boom, 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 boom. Uh, we will hurry through this one because it has the false floors. Grab more C4. Cool. I do want my SOCOM out, though. And then this is like chaff grenades or some crap like that. Yeah, stun grenades. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly remembering. Again, it's been like... Ugh. Can't remember last time I played this game. Maybe like five years ago is like probably the last time I played through this whole thing. Maybe if not more than that. Any more boost? Need more grenades for the one right there. Oh nope. Did I? I was like, did I put that on there? No. <laughs> Bam. Uh, we will get you out. All right. Or no, yeah, that's right, I need to pull up this wall. And kablooey. Nah, we will get the SOCOM out to take on Revolver Ocelot. Or at least eventually. After, I think, a brief cutscene with the where we see Baker. Am I too late? Nope. You're just on time, Snake. <laughs> He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Uh-huh. Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. 
C4. <laughs> How crazy. Oh, revolver ocelot. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special operations foxhound. Revolver ocelot. A lot. I think majority of the. I think all the bosses in this first game were like phenomenal, I without a doubt. Psychomantis is number one, but this this fight with Revolver also that's pretty cool. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made, the Colt single action army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Uh huh. Now I'll show you why they. Call me Revolver. Because you own a revolver? Draw! Hey, here we go. Alright. Avoid the. Nope. Leave me alone. Hiding won't help you. I'm not hiding. I'm right here. Ow. I need for you to reload here. Nope. Alright. Keep it like... Alright, that's one. Damn it. I love to reload during a battle. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming a long silver bullet into a well chamber. Alright. Alive. Let's go. I know there's like an easier way to do this. I think, like, again, it's like using like the stun grenades on them or something like that, but. Better hurry up. The old man's not gonna last too long. Damn it. I thought I had my pistol out, but no. I'm trying. Ah. I love the smell of porter. You know, that's so nice. Fuck. But to you, it'll be the smell of your own death. Ah, I thought I had him on that one. Ow, he banked that like right in my noggin. Yeah. I think I could take at least two more shots if I didn't like hit the ration on that one, but hmm. Oh shit, I had him, but I didn't see where he went. <laughs> I'm out of bullets. Ah. <laughs> Baker just always doing that moaning thing like, just shot off. There we go. Ow. One more bullet. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty, I'm fairly sure that it like re or ammo eventually like starts popping up here. Oh, <laughs> there I see the grenade just, or at least the uh, bullet just like flying right there to the screen. Ow! <laughs> ah. I don't even think I hit him on that one. Damn it! Come here. Yeah. As I say, I know I know eventually it spawns us back. Fuck. Hmm. 
I'm like just missing him as I'm seeing like right because it does auto lock onto him but I'm just like just missing him fuck all right need more ammo thank you I've never done that before. Put C4 down and just see what happens. <laughs> I guess it works. Ow. Oh. Fuck. If only I had more. Alright. Grab the last bit right up here. You better run. Damn it. Oh, I thought I had him. I'm pretty sure that last bullet just binked and hit, like, Baker in the head. Oh, are you kidding me? Like, he paused, and I'm pretty sure my SOCOM was, like, set right on his head. Damn it. There it is. That took a lot longer than I thought it would You're be. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? I'm pretty sure you just cross those lines of the C4. <laughs> there goes Baker. Oh, what's the ninja? It's the ninja. Yeah, we will, Revolver. I like you. I have no name. That, that exoskeleton. <laughs> oh. That's some members. His fight's pretty fun. <laughs> You'll find out eventually, Snake. That fight's really fun in, in that, at least talk. later in the game. Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sends you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. <laughs> What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. Oh no. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Of course. Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. <laughs> Even the DARPA chief? Of course. Doesn't sound like fun. The DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. <laughs> Come beat him. Beat him with the What's cane there, DARPA. Yeah, at least Baker. I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those
those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Woman? Ooh. <laughs> a soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier? It must be. Who she could it be? She just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? That you're on to something, Snake. I gave her the key. You're getting warmer. <laughs> she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. She's I'm fine. Sure she is. <laughs> she's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by codec until I was tied up here. That is, codec. Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, of course, of course he doesn't know. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Damn. How convenient. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Autocon. The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. <laughs> this is true. If anyone can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Hmm. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drops it's like who, who, who has? We stack this high, as far as you can see, because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, it's yes. pretty much. <laughs> They're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. <laughs> muff. It stands for material unaccounted for. I apologize for laughing at that one. There's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. Oh no. What will they ever do? In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Well, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossible. Oh, weapon. China and Russia. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. I'm assuming Metal Gear. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You mean Metal there Gear? There it is. <laughs> yes. You know, our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons. It's like, what makers. budget cut, especially making Metal and Gear? The company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet. The Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? So, like, Metal project Gear probably just itself is like the entire, project. like, military budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Take that, liberals. <laughs> In your face, we created Metal Gear. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect of a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? 
What's that? That's a CD disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. Sure. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Woohoo! Can you walk? No. Moving on up. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh oh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. As it seems like Naomi knows like a lot more. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Uh oh. Metal Gear itself does, but what? What did you do to me? So, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... It's like, oh no, another one has died in contact with me. Wonder why. <laughs> How could this be? Colonel, do you have answers? <laughs> what the hell? All right. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Of course. <laughs> Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. <laughs> Get in contact with her. Snake. It's like, what is that supposed to be? Interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. I'm trying. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Thank you, Colonel. <laughs> All right, so we got the boost in life. Uh, I don't remember if there's anything in here worth a damn. I know, like, that's the way to get out. Um, poor Baker. Oh, I will take the bullets, so. What level is it? Oh, level four to go out that way, okay. Whatever. Uh, we will equip the SOCOM, though, because we're going to run into more enemies coming up here. Or at least we're going to run into enemies here. So, again, we know that, hey, we got terrorists on the loose. Ooh, I forgot that we can go and get grenades already. Even though I'm, <laughs> I'm fairly certain I'm not going to use grenades anytime soon. We'll take more SOCOM, though. There we go. <laughs> One bullet short of a full, like, thing. Great. Uh, you... Ooh, you are level two. All right, here's where we got to play very cautiously. Oh, this is where... Damn it. Uh... Let's see. All right, we get the cigarettes out. There's the lines. Yeah, okay. All right. 
I couldn't remember if those were the line, if those moved as well too, like the ones like in the garage, but... Oh, I was like trying to back up, I was like, why can't I get out? Ah. Not gonna mess with the guards, we're gonna, we're gonna play it nice and cool. Not gonna mess with them. <laughs> Uh, you're level three. Need this other guard to move away. He will. You are level one. Oh, I guess I'll take more C4. Never mind. Are uh, you no level five? Oh. <laughs> Wasn't sure if he's gonna turn around. <laughs> Uh, anything? Nope, nothing restocked there. Oh. I don't think there's anything. There's just more grenades in that one. Alright, let's go. Uh. Yeah, we go back to the main floor. Or, I got I gotta look at the uh, CD case and whatnot to get Meryl's, like, contacts. That's right. I have it. Yes, I do. Nope. Uh, that. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I know it's in the actual, like, uh, thing here. Aha. Alright. It's somewhere here in the manual. I know that it is, if I remember correctly. Like, it's it says it's like, cool, here's like, her codec. If I remember correctly. <laughs> if not, it's just easy to look it up. Hmm. Interesting that it's not listed here. Or at least it doesn't seem like it is. Yeah, oh well. We'll look it up. <laughs> I know there's like another way to look it look up like or in the game her um Kodak, but I can't remember it. Alright. Uh we will bring you up. Oh, nope, wrong one. There we go. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? <laughs> How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? No. Are you Solid Snake? Not me. That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? No need to fangirl over me. Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? <laughs> they're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Damn, look at that smooth talker. I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? You're damn right. Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. <laughs> the reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. <laughs> so what's the deal then? Who knows? It's like weird that you Andre look like him. each other. But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. 
I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. <laughs> you see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound Way to go, Colonel. Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh huh. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Money. Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. World power. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Those are my oh, guesses. Yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. It's like, anyway, uh, dude, Baker, huh? what are you implying? He holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't Curious. <laughs> Something funny's going on. Really, it's like, mm, it how, like it. very coincidental. I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Otacon. Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. There we go. Second floor basement. Now we get to yeah, go see Raven. That's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. I'm not looking forward to this part. <laughs> before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. So I'm the legendary snake. I can do whatever. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, it's like give I it to me. Save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh yes, you are. You pause for just one second. I mean, technically, you're both green right now. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training, but when I thought about my bullets, we have to hear this like sad story from Meryl. I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Really? Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. It's a weird Every dream. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. Like some like weird it's philosophy. <laughs> like philosophy You're like just listen. A jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. Breathe. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. Thank now, you. Just think about keeping yourself alive. I mean that yeah, that's not if a bad I thing. I get out of here alive. I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> to put it blunt. You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Of course. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> okay. Okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Ugh, finally. God. Those interactions, the flirting between those two. It's 
ridiculous. Ah! <laughs> uh, nope, okay. Uh, I do have the FAMAS, which is nice. I do have chaff grenades, which are going to be handy, because I'm going to go, before going to the garage area and going outside, I'm going to go check up these little areas. Oh, I almost jumped the gun on that one. That could have been really bad. There's my cardboard box. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get me trapped in here. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> I accidentally at least uh, press like a L2 on that one. It would have was like, no, it's going to run out and I'm going to be screwed. Oh. Uh, let's see. We'll toss this one out. I can't remember. That just went all the way down to the floor, but whatever. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I need the mine detector. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Well, I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. You're in this I'm room with me? This enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. Oh, I if the hate this. Is sensed, gas is released. Uh huh. Gas. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my <laughs> mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. Yeah, probably not the best, there. like, to start out. <laughs> It's like, you can see me? You're in this room with me? Uh, Alright. Uh, we'll get the ration. Uh, I should be good without using that extra chaff. The only issue right now is dealing with this. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Again, I got clipped on that side of the door. It's like, oh shit. I can't remember if you turn around. Yep. I was like, I can't remember if you turn around, because there's a point where he goes, like, up and, like, cross. Yeah, there it is. Damn it! Saw me. I got careless. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, cardboard box time. I'm just an innocent cardboard box. I didn't do anything. Damn it! <laughs> Oh, why'd I... I... Ow. Nope, get up. Uh-huh. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, well... I guess that's that. What is that blinking dot? Yeah, we'll use that. Why not? Yeah, why is there like a blinking dot right here? Or isn't there? Yeah, there, if I remember correctly, there's like a whole area. Yeah, that's right. There's like that whole area down there. <sighs> All right, chaff grenade. I need you. Oh, nope. We're going to toss that out. Go. Running, 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 running. We're running into bad situation here because who knows where the guards are going to be. Haha. -ha. I will equip my SOCOM just in case. God, the music in this game is just amazing. That's right. You are in here. I don't have a stun grenade, which is kind of an issue. Come here. Get out of here. Alright. There we go. That's what I need is that suppressor. That should just... There we go. Yeah, I was going to say that should automatically equip. Uh, Let's see. Before we go in here and die a lot, or at least hopefully not, but we'll call Mei Ling save. What is it, Snake? 
and I need to save. Uh, boy, what do I have it designated as? I think memory card two. Remember what the Gaul said. I don't care. Cares what Charles de Gaulle had to say. <laughs> oh, I hate this part. Yeah, I know, Meryl. The lasers. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Alright, so it's cigarette time. I feel like you could see the lines there, like, I'm seeing at the top, like, right there in that first, like, level. It's like a black, like, a very subtle black, like, thing. That's kind of funny how that works. Oh. All right. Oh. oh. I hate this part so bad. <laughs> All right, that one's going to go up. That one goes down. All right. That one goes slowly, but it's good. That one also good. Woohoo, we made it. Ugh. I always panic on that one. I just, I, because again, it locks you down in your gas and then you just like insta-die. Or at least don't insta-die, but it takes a while. Uh, I do need the mine detector for this one. There we go. We will pick up some of these claymores. Ah, uh, what now? Snake, be careful. It's deep there throat. Are mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. <laughs> deep Throat, the informant from the Watergate scandal. Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen. There's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. It's Raven. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Yay, Deep Throat is a fan of mine. <laughs> oh boy. Uh let's see. I need chaff grenades out for this boss fight. This this fight, like, with Raven is like, it's okay. Not the funnest, because it's just like cool. Like, toss out chaffs, grenade them, and then boom, boom, boom. And then avoid getting run over by the tank. <laughs> Alright, we'll take that. We are good on... I'll keep the ration out. Now yeah, we'll keep the chaff grenades out. Alright, here we go. The second part, like, the second, like, fight with Raven down the line is really fun. This one's, like... Eh. If anything, it just teaches you that, hey, you can, here's chaff grenades work and Raven grenade. Territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. Sure they do. I will not let you pass. This is a raven deserves to be in Alaska. A message. It's like, I'm one man, you, you bring a whole tank, like, come on. How f how fair is that? That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. I can do that. If that's what you want. Go. Let's fight. Gladly. You're going down, Raven. I just need to avoid. Oh, I need avoided that. <laughs> I know you dumb sounding. Whatever. All right. Get back up. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it, I just took it right to the dome. Fuck. All right, we're going to toss out the chaffs right now. Fuck. All right. Should have did that earlier. 
Albeit, again, give credit to Snake of just how tough he is. He took, like, two direct shots of a, like, of a tank blast. Like, holy shit. Oh, I gotta do this all over again. Um, yeah, deep throw. Cool, Snake. thank you. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let me pass all that. All right. Let's do this again. We'll equip the group in chapter eight. God. That was pretty funny. It was just like taking just a direct shot right to the dome. It was just like, oh, that had to hurt. But not the bo bother snake, clearly. Definitely need that other ration. <laughs> or at least definitely need that one. All right, we will move on. Uh, we'll keep that out. Yep, we'll skip that. Oh, 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 oh. I can't remember if he hits you like a... Ow, stop. Oh, my phone grenades. All right, we're gonna grenade your ass. Oh, really? That didn't hit you? As long as we stay away from the black. There we go. There's there's a good shot. <laughs> I love, like, the dramatic, just like, Oh, my God, you hit me. Whoa. See how you like this. Fuck, I tossed that out too early. All right. What happened to my chat grenade? Hey. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got him. At least that's the gunner. Now. Woohoo. It's like we took care of the gunner, but now Raven. <laughs> you got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Well, thank you. Much like you, <laughs> I would expect no less. See? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand. As well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. That we will, Raven. Yes. Raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. When you destroy Raven, that's like the coolest like ending of like how he like disappears. <laughs> so cool with those ravens. See, that's a missed opportunity for like either revolver or like liquid to be like it's like, oh yes, he might be a snake, but I'm a mongoose, you know. I'm the mongoose to a snake, or the snake to his mongoose. I'm not good with animals, you know. That, that old Austin Powers, you know. Uh, quote. <laughs> now we're into the Warhead facility. This is where we have to. <laughs> this is where we have to mine our P's and Q's and can't really mess around with the guards because again, it's like there are no guns allowed. Because if you shoot anything, everything blows up and blows up big time, like nuclear big time. Right, we'll let you do your thing. Uh huh. Ugh, all right. All right, Colonel. Yeah, you're telling me exploding things, blah, blah, blah. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? 
That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Now, do you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. <laughs> they're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Eh, probably not good. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Well, I can't. I know that, so thank you, Colonel. <laughs> uh, I do, however, need to use my chaff grenades, even though this is probably not a good idea. Especially because there is guard of shit. I'm dead. <laughs> Bruh. That one was pretty much just watch and die, because again, I fucked up on that one. Alright. Alright, bad idea to go straight at the camera on that one. I'll have to cut through like the middle area and then just kind of go around, avoiding like the chaff grenade. <laughs> the funny thing as well too is like we're dealing with like nuclear warheads and like plutonium and all this other shit that like like it's funny that everyone's got like a specialized suit and here I am snake of just like la 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 you know like <laughs> radiation doesn't bother me I'll grab those boxes as soon as this guy moves on because he's gonna move to the right I don't remember if he moves back I know that other guy all right I think he goes back, yeah. It's like just watching the set patterns of these guys. Are you gonna come back this way? No. Okay. Ooh, I can use Flaw Moss bullets. And then that should be so calm. I'm gonna try. Nope, nope, nope. Not risking it. I was gonna try to go for the stairs. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna just just gently all right there we go i know there's one more guard up here ah yep there you are Yeah, again, they got, like, gas masks and, like, specialized suits just, like, protective for the radiation, and I'm just like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm Snake. Nothing can hurt me. I totally not getting radiation poisoning. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a pain. Come on, elevator. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster. Thank you. Uh, sure. I'll go to basement one. I can't remember. One of them is the area to get to like um, Mantis, and then the other one is the yeah. This is okay. This is the Mantis level. I don't know if I can do anything here though, as of right now, except for I can I can fuck with the guy peeing, which I think I will. Cause why not? Ah, get in there. Especially with the suppressor, it's like I might as well kill him. <laughs> Alright, nothing in that toilet. Yeah, I don't remember anything being in the toilets. I don't know if I could spook Meryl this early on in the women's. Nope, okay. Uh, oh, that's level four. Level six, I will grab this stuff down here though. Oh, get off the wall. Nope, can't go on that one. Shit. Uh, yeah, we'll get the soak home out. I don't remember if the suppressor eventually, like, breaks on this. Or if it can. I really don't remember. Oh. Oh. <gasps> 
die. <laughs> oh. Ah, the Nikita. So we'll use that in the lower level, obviously. Or at least in that lower floor. I'll probably, even though I love the FAMAS, and that'll be like something that I use for like when I'm in like the shit against others. Yep, here's a Psy Psychomantis. Alright, so we got the Nikita launcher. We will go down to that level. Nope, go. But, um, I'll keep with the SOCOM out because, again, with the suppressor, it's like now I can kind of be, or I'll be more stealthy with it. Just as long as that, I don't think the suppressor ever, like, degrades or anything or deteriorates. I think it's just on there. Oh, yeah, this is the issue is, like, I don't have a gas mask. Which is fine. That's right. It's, I'll survive. That's right. I'll, I'll be fine without it. You follow the line, da 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 da, and it's got to go all the way back there. As right now, I'm just like gassing myself to death here. Fuck! All right. Snake, what do you want, Deep Throat? That place is filled with gas. Really? Also, the floor is electrified. Really? First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Thank you, Deep Throat. Alright. And avoiding the stupid cameras as well, too. Wee. Oh. Yep. Gotta avoid all this. And avoid the computers. Just like you're avoiding, like. You gotta avoid, like, literally everything. Oh. Small movements. Small movements to go. Kabanami. Alright. So we got that all taken care of. I will step back out, though. Bring back that. I can't remember if you get the gas mess at some point in time in these rooms. Don't need the ration. Oh! <laughs> it's like, don't get caught in here. Please don't lock me in here. Alright, still relatively good on oxygen. Yep, there's my mat gas mask. Ah, fresh air. Here, we'll put on the gas mask. Fortunately, I'm out of uh, <laughs> chat grenades, which is a slight issue to get past that camera right there. Oh, I'm gonna probably have to get shot here. Yeah. Don't need more Nikita missiles, but whatever. Take it. Ow, 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 ow. Damn. There's my chaff grenades. It's a slight waste to at least kind of use it like I just did there, but again, I'm just going to replenish my oxygen just in case if anything goes, aw anything goes awry. Uh, Alright. Gas mask out. And then we will 
Enter in here. All right, finally. As yeah, so now we're approaching Otacon. Oh, that is that does not sound good. <laughs> it's like, ooh, that that's kind of brutal. Some type of blade. It's almost like the ninja with his sword did it. How crazy. This is like a legit, like, kind of creepy, like, creepy section. Like, with the noises and everything, just wa like seeing all these guys just, like, brutally murdered. Nope, I don't know what the hell that was. The hell was that noise? <laughs> that is some br that is some brutality. All right. I guess we shall go in. Um Grab that. Equip the ration just in case. I yeah, appreciate everyone tuning in this afternoon. Yeah, feel free to hit that follow button, twitch.tv slash proman56. There's our old pal. The old pal Hal. Otacon. As he pisses himself. <laughs> Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? What next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from the world where such words are. I forget what his name is, but we will learn after we defeat him, but I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle. What do you want? And not just Cyborg Ninja again to realize that they address that, but it's like what his real name is. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? <laughs> it's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. This is without a doubt a fun battle. No, you won't. Or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> Run, Otacon. Fine. <sighs> he can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Come on. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. I like how we, like, uh, in this battle he just like gets turned on by all this ah oh get the hell out of here then why'd you have a why'd you have your sword out oh Ah, ah, damn it, I knew he was going to hit me on that one. Alright, get up, Snake. Ah, jeez. Damn it. Alright, I'm failing really badly in this one. Oh, my God. Bam. Oh. Nope, don't hit me. Excuse me while I get this ration. Damn it. 
Oh, I got one shot in on him. All right. Yeah, I don't really need the chaff grenade in all of this, but... Fuck. All right. Bam. Ah. Bastard. Come here. Come here. Nope, come here. <laughs> we keep on just like whiffing. Or he's like jumping over me and like everything. Oh. Ow, okay. I thought I had I thought I hit you on that one. That's bull I call bullshit on that one. Crashing up on that one. Interesting that it gives you like FAMAS bullets in here for whatever reason. Ah, no, no. Ah! <laughs> Alright, here we go. That's good sneak. Hurry up and catch me. As it's not like full stealth camouflage, it's like, it's like, there you are. <laughs> I'm here, Snake. Uh, I know he'll pop up. Yep, there. I knew it was like he's gonna pop up somewhere. I know you're somewhere. Up, oh, you're right there. Leave me alone. Fuck, I thought I had you. Hurry up and catch me. Oh, there you are. Alright, I just punched the computer on that one. Like old times. I've been waiting for this day. Again, he's just like taking like uh, he's he's a masochist. Oh, gotta watch out for that one. Alright, I forgot that one. Oh, I will. As much as it's very creepy. Eat it. Because you're just like creaming your creaming your suit right now over this. Haha. That's it. I remember that punch. Uh-huh. Fuck. Alright. Yeah, I've been doing it like for like almost two hours now. Oh my god, why did I do that? <laughs> That's good snake. Oh, it's more life. There we go. Yeah, I was like, I couldn't remember when he does like the duplicate like ones, but now he's doing it or kind of. All right. Either one or two more combos will do it here. Ah. Looks like maybe one more. Alright, alright, here we go. I'll gladly keep on punching you. Alright, now he's gonna start freaking out. Alright, where are you? Ah, uh, I thought I had it enough where I could. Damn it. <laughs> Made it, but it was like, damn, I thought I had him on that last one. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? No. It can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Is he having? It's like it, he's having a heart attack. <laughs> uh huh. What's happening? 
Alright, stop doing that. Not yet. All right. Gray Fox. That's a Gray Colonel, Fox up there. That ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died. But he didn't. What? It happened before I joined. He Fox somehow survived. Staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? <laughs> it's like you're bullshit with us, Naomi. What happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Eh, yeah, possibly. Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Alright. Gray Fox, I can never remember his, like, actual name. How long are you gonna stay in there? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. <laughs> we can't stay here forever. I'm tired of your shit. I'm tired of your shit, Otacon. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I just twisted it's my It's like, we'll give you the uh, thought of that there, Snake. That's all. It's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Stop lying, Otacon. I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. Uh-huh. Did he, though? President Baker? Yeah. 
I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. God. <laughs> it's like, is all that necessary? On, like, one super, like, weapon? A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. Oh, the and that it does. Was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? It's not good when the scientist's working on it. It's just like, what? Huh? But that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fires Soldier Man, you know you know more about this? They should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? It's like what Metal Gear's co developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. Sure. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Way to go, Otacon. I'm such a fool. You're damn right. It's all my fault. Mm hmm Could I absolutely put all the blame on you? <laughs> the truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. It's crazy that we have all this footage on, like, nuclear blasts, especially and from the Manhattan father, Project. He was born on August 6th, 1945. The Hiroshima. Hiroshima bomb. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. God's got a sense of humor, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. Sounds like we need to wipe out the uh, Emmerich the family then. <laughs> just like that's the problem, just like cut Using them off. Using science to help mankind, just in the movies. That's true. That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? It's like over yonder. And ain't another facility. Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. <laughs> of course. It's like, cool, if you can't do this, instead you have to take out that entire thing. It's never easy. <laughs> I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours? I'm waiting for I'll one game to be like, down. cool, just, there you go, override, you're done. <laughs> if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. Uh huh. It's like you're not destroying you anything. Chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Boat, swim, swim. That's how you do it. Swim. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. The same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this, I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you, too. 
All right. Cinematics are done. Now we talk to Meryl for a bit. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. <gasps> oh, no. Damn, they've spotted me. <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Damn, a little, wrong. little hint did to the music. Wasn't that some kind of music? Yep. What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She has such a cute way of walking. <laughs> she kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Again, okay, how, how can you not look? Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> if she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. <laughs> Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Woohoo. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all <laughs> No, nothing. It's like, don't touch me. Okay. You're strange. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Mm -hmm. Get it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Oh boy, here we go. Now we go in this Japan hole. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. <laughs> I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. <laughs> like snakes are just like not about all these. Like, it's we like stop with your bullshit. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. Uh huh. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want <laughs> from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Give me like everything. <laughs> What's the strongest I'm weapon? Give it to me. One four one point one two. See you later. All right. Bye, Otagon. We'll see you in a bit. All right. We will gain back our life and then a little bit more. Cool. All right. We are done with that whole thing. All right. It's just now I can add the Famas bullets. I like that where again it's like after like the little boss fights or like the interactions like you uh, you gain more health or it's like again it's like it expands the health and then also too expands like your clip sizes for like all guns. This is just oh, I can't destroy the supercomputers like why not? Come on, there it is. All right, there we go. Yeah, no more supercomputing. No no more nuclear testing on you guys. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I saved the world just in of just destroying those. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let's keep going. All right, we go back, we go up to go see Meryl. We're just to go find Meryl. Oh, I forgot to see the, or at least uh, on the way in, I completely forgot about, it's not so much like an Easter egg, but the guy, like this guy who, uh, you can see he's like breathing still, like he's the like slightly alive dude out of everyone who's like been slaughtered. It's weird because you see like his chest just like move up and down. It's like, oh, <laughs> what a way to go. That is rough. Uh, we'll, chaff a f we'll chaff grenade. I'm not going to check anything. I... God, I kind of want to. You know what? For the hell of it, we'll check out... Yeah, because that's where the gas mask was. Alright, more stun grenades, even though uh, 
not really going to do me much. I don't really do much. Outside of the chaff grenades, I really don't use a whole lot of, like, the grenades in just general. Because it's like... I'd rather just sneak around, or at least try to sneak around, instead of, like, using stun grenades or anything like that. Just, it's not useful. Or at least it doesn't feel like it is. Uh, we'll put on the gas mask for now. Alright, we'll chaff in here. Actually, no, we'll keep that open. Oh, okay, I need level 6 for that guy. There's probably nothing in here. I feel like I'm just wasting all the time just being in here. Alright, Nikita's. I need to toss one more down because that one's just like looking right at me. Oh, is that night vision? Yes, it is. Alright, I'll take the night vision. Night vision's good. I'm gonna probably get shot here. Nope, okay. The night vision is definitely not bad to have. If I remember correctly. Yeah. The night vision's good for the uh, the cave area when you run into sniper wolves, uh, like wolves. Or huskies or whatever the hell she has there. But, um... That's where that's convenient at. The one... Uh, it's got to be coming up soon. If not, it's in this level, but it's somewhere. Is the um, thermal vision? That one's really good, especially when you're taking on Sniper Wolf. Nope. Oh, fired a little. Uh, fired a little bit more. <laughs> Oops. All right. All right. Meryl's not in the bathroom yet. She's somewhere over here, though. Oh. Oh. I can't remember if this is Meryl. Oh. That ain't Meryl. Ow, ow, ow. Fama's time. Oh, nope. I don't. Nope. Nope. What are you doing, Snake? Damn it. <laughs> uh, the top down view got me confused. I was like, uh, I think I'm standing up or again, like, didn't realize it's crawling. Uh, all right, Mei-Ling, don't, no, no need for that. <sighs> all right, so the one to the right here is not Meryl. All right, you die. Oh, you dropped something. I will take that, whatever it is. Yeah, I'll gladly take the ration. Alright, so the right one here is not Meryl. Oh, we will definitely... Oh, you are, though, I do believe. And then all we need to do is just scare Meryl. Like peekaboo. Even though I, I don't know why I did that, but... Because um, I'm not going to head to the bathroom, like, immediately, or not yet, but... Damn it, alright. <laughs> I'll take the cardboard box, why not, for the for the jokes. Oh, oh, get in there. Alright, no more Nikita missiles. I don't remember what all I just checked over here, but... Alright, we got everything there. Damn it! I was trying to throw her down. <laughs> here, we'll hide behind here. Gotcha. <laughs> oh. Let me in. Don't move. 
I think there's like I think if I remember correctly, it's like if you get there like immediately as she's entering, it's like that's the second time I've been able to sneak up there's on like, a legendary solid snake. Like differences, like I think like her tank top is gone, but you see like bra or something like that. It's something no weird. A man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. And that that was that was a pickup line there. <laughs> I didn't realize you're so feminine. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Oh bullshit. Same smart mouth. You're Merrill, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. <laughs> one or the other. Too real. Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? No. I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like <laughs> this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. There so you go, Snake. Something you like about me, huh? Yeah, no. You've got a great butt. No, 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 no. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop being so coy there, uh, Snake. You know what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Oh Metal boy. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot. <laughs> it's kind of drastic. <laughs> it's like, cool, you slow me down, you kill me. <laughs> I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. Some weird, like, I've monologuing going on now. Kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. Oh, we already know that, Meryl. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. You wanted revenge. I that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. Oh. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions. It's weird seeing, like, Meryl, like, again, like, evolve anymore. after this I game and then, like, it, seeing her, like, Metal Gear Solid 4. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroes. Suck it up. Use your worm food. It's like, suck it up, lady. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. Oh. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Eh. So I got a leftover, huh? <laughs> Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Damn. 
If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. You pro yeah, probably. I mean, <laughs> we are dealing with a nuclear okay, weapon. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Of course. Cause that won't go that won't go wrong. Isn't there something like special about granted, I know that's the soldier clothes. No, okay. I like you can run into like the air dryers and they actually activate it's like how weird. It's next gen. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? No, oh, I'm ready. Alright, we're gonna save very quickly. It's a good thing you hooked up with Meryl. You should have seen the colonel. Alright, thank you, Glenn. I don't need the chit chat, Mei Ling. I want to save. I want to save. Oh. I don't even know what the hell I just did, but whatever. <laughs> Talk to you later, Snake. Finally! God, you just went on, Mei Ling. This is like the fun part where you can fuck with, like, uh, Meryl. Even though she'll she'll hurt you and stuff, I uh, I kind of want to, but <laughs> like if you punch her, like toss her around, like she'll just come and like bitch slap you. She'll like hunt you down like the whole way. It's really funny. I mean, I do have three rations, so I could do that if I really want to. Nah. So let's do. Where's my life? I need. Eh. Nah. All right. All right, Meryl. I thought you were leading. Come on. What happened to being my point man? <laughs> oh, oh, Mantis, here we go. Now I can't remember, without kind of spoiling, if you've never seen this, all to it's I you know spoilers. Who gives a shit? Because again, this game's like, <laughs> this game's got to be like twenty one somewhere, like twenty two years old at this point. But, um. I can't remember, like, back in the day on the PS1 where, again, where he, when Psycho Madness does his little thing, you unplug the controller and you put it in another port. I don't remember if you could do this here on the PS3. I know you could change, like, ports on it or change, like, a, the controller number, but I don't remember if it works. Or he's like, I can't read your mind. We'll see. Now, what? It, like, stopped me, so I was like, all right. <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Meryl, you again. We barely made it like two feet, and you're already a you're already a problem. I knew I shouldn't okay? have taken you along. Uh, uh, what happened? Something spooky. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Let's go. This is the best boss fight of like any game. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Creepy. Alright. La 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 la. Uh we will get that out. <laughs> Trying to think no. Because we just punch Psycho, because he, again, doesn't need the bullets. Don't remember. Stun Grenade doesn't do anything. No, okay, we don't need anything. All right. Da 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 da. Yep, okay. I'm just waiting for that to activate. Snake. How do you like me? Not right now. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Who's <laughs> that? You don't like girls. Oh, Psychomantis, you bastard. Oh. Snake, Meryl's not herself. 
Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Will do. <laughs> oh. Are you knocked out yet, Meryl? Nope. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's like, get knocked out already. Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. Oh, he's got a lot of them. Well, you keep on using words, so if there's no use. It's like, shut up already. Shut up and fight. Everyone. Uh, possibly. However, you are a skilled warrior. You like brute force. You are extremely cautious around traps. Still don't believe I, lo I love how it gives a recap of like how you've been playing. That's awesome. <laughs> I always thought that was cool. If I remember correctly, the, the memory thing is regarding, like, your memory card. It's down. Uh-huh. I'm sure you will. It's just vibrating. I have it on my leg right now. <laughs> you feel my power now. The demonstration is over. Good. Can we fight now? Alright. This is where I can't remember if you need to... Controller settings. Reassign. I don't remember if this works. But we will try it. So again, as... Again, when it does that, you're supposed to, again, change the, the port. And then, like, he goes, oh, I can't read your mind. I'm hoping it works on the PS3. Why was I on the floor? <laughs> Ow. Ow. All right. I tried to punch him and didn't realize that. All right. All right. This is not, this is not going well. Definitely you use a ration here. Oh. And then this should go fuck off, yeah. Yep, here we go. It's working. Now this should be the paintings, right? Yeah. We will do that again. We will swap over to controller one. And whoa, hey, whoa, Psychomantis. No, no, no need for that. For your little hidden ball thing. Damn it. I wonder if I need to keep it on, like, controller 2, then, because it's not working. Alright, we will change it here. Alright, that worked. Okay. 
Oh, ow. Get down. Oh, here comes the paintings. Or that, these things, whatever the hell they are. Now the paintings. Ah, come back here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can hit him while he's doing all this, but it's like, you just don't want to get domed by his little ball thing. I, if I remember correctly, you can hit him while he's throwing all that stuff. Alright. So we'll keep an eye on controller too, because I think that's... I don't think I need to change it then. Alright, send your chairs away. I'll let these just pass by. I don't remember if they... Okay, no. Again, it's an interesting boss fight, especially when you like first like play this game, trying to learn a mechanic. And again, without noticing or knowing like what the hell when that when it goes like black of like what he's doing. But once you figure out the pattern and everything, it's a very easy boss fight. It's very, it's just very casual. But I lo I love though. Psychomantis is one of the coolest bosses. Like him, the Fury from like. Uh, like Snake Eater. The Fury's pretty cool. I like the end as well. Alright, there's that. Go punch you again. As I'm just like casually just laying down, it's like, la la la. Woohoo! Nope, need to get down. <laughs> God, such an easy boss fight. <laughs> Soon enough, Meryl will wait back. Oh, there it is, I got brained. I knew it was coming eventually, as I'm just like running around. I feel like we gotta be getting close to where Meryl wakes back up. Fairly, fairly sure. Going bye bye. Oh, Try to get like one little cheap shot hit on him, and then I got binked by whatever these things are. Oh, 
Cool. All right, we'll get down. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Come back over here. Hmm. I feel like this is taking a lot longer than I remember, but I, I, I... Everything that's going on, though, is correct, though. All right, here we go, finally. Now he's gonna toss shit at me. Yeah, I was like, because I'm trying to like defend against like Meryl. All right, now you're done. Now you're done, son. Thank you. Uh huh. I think I've ever ha I've uh, I've happened had that happen to me like one time where I just allowed it to happen where she just like goes and does this like oh it no. oh it was it did ah <laughs> all right now this is where he starts tossing out like random stuff that's like where it's like no longer a pattern and like you just see like random shit start flying. Come on. There you are. Nope. All right. Are you done yet? Damn it. All right, I'm going to stand still. I think this is where I need to go, like, get close to him and then eventually, like, punch him. I think. Oh. Damn it. It's useless. I can't remember if I need to hit him here. Or if this is just like, it, it's just kind of like scripted a bit where it's like he just kind of does his own thing. Because I know he eventually like starts just randomly tossing out things. I just can't catch up to him. Ah, there was, there was my chance to get him. Damn it. Oh, I was like a like an inch away from him. What if I just stand still? Oh, I thought I hit him. I saw blood. Um, I think that was the majority of my blood. Ow. <laughs> Now I'm just, now I'm like, I'm, I'm really fucking it up. Oh, uh, I, God damn it. I thought I was moving. I really don't know what to do here. I'm kind of confused because it's like. Here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to change controllers, see if that does anything. Yeah. 
I feel like he's been tossing these balls out a little bit too long than like what sh should be happening. Oh, yep, I knew that one was happening. Fuck. All right. <laughs> Let's see if Colonel's got some hint for me or something like that on what's going on here. That's Psycho Mantis, former KGB All right, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's a da All right, well, that was not helpful. Maybe deep, maybe deep throat could be a little bit more insightful on what the hell's going on. Nope, no, all right. Uh, how about mass? How about uh, oh, I? Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Destroying him. That's I want to master Miller. That's it. It's true. Your enemy is a powerful teleport. Damn it! They're not giving me anything. All right. Well, fuck. <laughs> Things seem a little off because again, it's it should not be going on this long. Ow, because I apparently was still like. There we go. So I have to go after him. There we go. Ah, damn it. All right. This is kind of frustrating. Come on, spawn like here in front of me. I'll just stand here in the center and like hope that he spawns at like one of these more kind of central locations. Because he spawns either here in the middle or something. Ah, shit. He spawned there. You would spawn over there. Or again, I can't see him off screen. Uh, I got him, but he got me as well. <laughs> Unless all of this is like some sort of pattern that I'm just not seeing right now. And I've just never realized playing this. Ah, he spawned a little too far away. Oh, all right. We'll continue to wait it out just for like the couple spots that he go. No, nope, he just went back to the same one. There we go. Ah, I tried. This is where it becomes really dangerous because now I'm out of ration, so, like, any more of those ball hits, I'm, like, done. And I'm pretty sure I have to do the whole boss fight if I fail. There we go. Damn it, I'm, like, a, like a half a second just late. There we go. Oh, I was like, get down, damn it. God damn it, snake. You yeah, moron. over one more time. Oh, 
Oh, get down. Damn it, Snake, you fucking idiot. Alright, one more. This'll do it. Get out of here, Psychomanus. Took a lot longer than it should have. Again, trying to figure out, I was like, do I hit him during those ball moments? But yeah. Colonel, Took a couple balls to the face, but oh well. Okay. Thanks, Snake. <laughs> it happens. Now that Mantis is it happens to some people. Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? No. I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. All right, so we got rid of Psychomantis. I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his... Actually, as we're doing that, we'll swap back over. Perhaps so, but I will read your future. What is my future there, Psychomantis? It better be good. And why are you telling me this? Why are you telling me this? <laughs> I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. Hey, he doesn't look all that bad. That I peered into was Especially with the pixelated. The same single object of obsession that selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed it was enough to make me sick every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their dna we're designed that way and that's why there is war but you you are different why well, thank you the same as us we have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. Damn. That's rough. I died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. It's like some real shit here. That's when my future... I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. No, no, not at all. <laughs> I don't believe that. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it I would agree I never agreed with the boss's revolution his dreams of world conquest do not interest me I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could <laughs> you monster let him talk he doesn't have much time left I've seen true evil you snake your 
just like the boss. No, you're worse. Wow. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. That's how you're gonna go out there, Psycho? I read her mind as well. Merrill's? I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place? It's like, oh, someone loves me. Yes, a large place. <laughs> but I do not know Because he's redundant on that one. Together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's like, does it... Doesn't it feel good? It feels oh. Kind of nice. There you go, Mantis. You feel bad for the guy. <laughs> In a way. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? <laughs> oh, no, nothing. Like, get on with it. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Snake. You just said it. Your real name. Ah. Uh, name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. <laughs> Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. So get the hint, Meryl. People just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Alright. So we're done. As Meryl, again, is without her life. Alright. Uh, let's call Mei Ling. Save again. The tongues of I don't want to hear it. Damn it, I keep saving <laughs> multiple saves. I need to overwrite, but whatever, it's fine. Please, I'm not giving up, Mei Ling. It's fine. Don't no need to worry. Alright, so we'll pause there. Um, let's see. We've been going for about almost three hours now. Um just want to do a prompt to like little afternoon stream. May come back on later tonight and continue more of this. Uh, but I, I'm going to go eat and just kind of chill out uh, and enjoy the day off, so to speak, here on New Year's Day. But I uh, appreciate everyone tuning in tonight, or at least this afternoon, I should say. Again, it feels like it's nighttime. It's dark already at 5. But um, appreciate everyone tuning in. Again, feel free if you've not hit that follow button. If you're watching, again, over on twitch.tv slash proman56, again, please do. It's completely free. Again, lets you know when I go live. It helps me out, so I appreciate that. Uh, this, along with all the rest of my live streams and highlights and all that fun stuff, will be posted on my YouTube channel, ProMan56MP. Uh, in my Twitch profile about me, there's a direct link into it, so go over there, subscribe. Again, that's also too free. Please do that. Again, that helps me out, so I appreciate all that. Uh, like I said, 2021 new year looking to be a little bit more consistent uh might come up with like a stream schedule again um not gonna be like a again a full-time thing or anything like that it's gonna be like again maybe like a three hour per day thing since i do have a regular full-time job so um maybe like in the late innings as I've been, but again, we'll try to be more consistent on a schedule. Uh, and again, that's kind of the goal this, this year 
and coming up with some sort of schedule to kind of keep that going. But um, like I said, tonight I might return, may not. Again, not sure about that. But if not, hopefully I'll see you all very soon, if not Saturday, Sunday as well. So uh, with that all being said, again, thanks to everyone tuning in as we'll continue more Metal Gear Solid. Absolutely going to play through all this and continue and uh, in this might be a series of playing the other Metal Gear Solid, Solid games, but who knows? I might continue just uh, on a PS1 kick, but we'll see. Anyways, I uh, will talk to everyone very soon. Hopefully, everyone have a good afternoon the rest of your evening. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.